If you want to showcase your AR creations at an event or exhibit, this is one way to create the AR mirror by yourself. This works with any platform, Spark AR, Lens Studio, Effect House, or Unity. I will show you how to set up a vertical or horizontal view, which you can use with a monitor or television or even a projector. First, I want to show you my ideal setup with the Filta application. All I have here is my phone connected to my computer and I'm using my horizontal display. What matters the most is that we don't have any of the UI elements. So no record button, no logos from the software and it's just like a clean image. This way it looks more like an exhibit and it doesn't look like somebody just pull out their phone and you are, um, you're able to see all of the UI. For this specific setup, because I am using an iPhone connected to my Windows computer, I have to use this separate program called A Power Mirror. I'll leave you a tutorial down here on how to set that up, but that's only because I'm using an iPhone and I need the quality of the iPhone to showcase. And then I'm going to use OBS, which is a streaming program to make sure that I can lay out everything that I want and that, you know, it looks the way that I want to showcase it. Okay, so inside of OBS, let's do a new window capture. In this case, I need the AR Power Mirror live stream. Here you can see that I get the window of my phone. Even though Filter doesn't have the UI, I still have the iPhone UI. So I need to get rid of that. So all I have to do is pressing Alt or the Option key on a Mac is use these handles to just crop the image. So click and drag using Alt or Option on a Mac. And then what I'm gonna do is scale it up. So once you are ready with the position and you wanna showcase like the final image, then you can scale it up. But for now, I will gather this, this window that we have and just make a copy. So you can Command C, Command V, Control C, Control V on the Mac and you can fit as many as you want. So I just want to utilize all the space and this is gonna depend on your television or uh, projector, whatever. Because we have a vertical a vertical phone, I just don't wanna see, like during the exhibit or the event, I, I don't wanna see black bars. So here I'm just positioning everything and scaling it up. And to make sure that you uh, get rid of all of all of the UI even from OBS go to full projector preview and then you will select your screen right now it looks a little bit weird because I am recording it but on the television this is going to look um, full size with no OBS UI no unity filter UI everything is going to look clean another thing you can do is create a color source in this case just like a black background it can be your logo it can be a wallpaper but again i want to make sure there's no ui or errors so you can always create like a background like this if you want to use a vertical monitor go to settings and on video make sure that you set up the resolution to 9 by 16 so a vertical resolution it's going to look like this in obs uh, and all you have to do is pretty much the same steps get those windows and simply just scale it all the way that it fits the vertical monitor. I like it this way because in real life, uh, people can see on a bigger screen and you don't have uh, all of those clones on the sides. Okay, for Lens Studio, we actually don't have access to the window capture. So let me show you right here. So what I recommend is that you grab the preview video and here I am using uh, the new version of Lens Studio 5.0 and I will just scale the preview as much as I can on my screen. And then in OBS, I will create or copy this um, display source. I can rename it to something like Lens Studio. And I will make my OBS window just a bit smaller so I can show you what it's going to look like. So we grab that capture and just crop it the same way where nothing else from the screen shows only the preview. So this is going to be 
uh, the people seeing themselves again so as you can see now i have this slice this section in the same way before like before i can just make it bigger scale it up and position it uh, anywhere i want so i can also make a copy of this uh, we don't need the window because it's not compatible so make a copy of the display um, here in the recording you can see that it's full size so pretty much the same way as the others i know it looks really weird but you will do the same thing and scale it <laughs> right now it's it's just having a lot of glitches but this is what it will show pretty much the same way this this is what's going to show on the television and the people are going to see themselves wearing your ar creations okay so the same thing for effect house drag away the preview window and do the same thing in obs i recommend you create new dis uh, display captures the same way i can tie i'm going to title this effect house now and select my horizontal screen again i need to crop it so it's only capturing that specific section inside of a effect house and you can take your time making sure that there is no um, no like lines thin lines maybe you didn't cut it properly in the same way i can just grab it and make it full size i can copy the source move it and again i recommend this if you have a, a horizontal tv screen so people can see just more of themselves and you can just really use all of the space and not have like black bars on the sides i forgot to mention this but in lens studio and in these programs you can actually hide the ui uh, in case yours looks like this, um, you don't want you don't want it to look like this during the event. So there has to be an option to hide the UI. Okay, finally, let's go to Spark AR. All of these programs are pretty much the same thing. And what's cool about Spark AR is that they have a resizable window option. So if you are using a camera that is not your phone, maybe you have a horizontal camera, you can make this window fit the whole thing just in case you cannot see uh, you cannot see something vertical so this is cool about spark ar and i really wish that the other programs had it but here i'm going to select just like a normal cell phone size put it on the corner just like the others and then do the same thing in obs so create a new um, display capture source let's call this one spark ar select my monitor in this case your tv or projector and let's do the same cropping here so holding alt on the windows click and drag or holding option on a mac so we have here the slice now i can position it and scale it to fit the whole screen let's make a copy and again just place it either next to it you can fit as many as you want definitely play with the design and right now it's kind of slowed down because I need to have um, Spark AR open. But again, this is what the people are going to see. No UI, everything is clean. And you can put your logo, you can put an animation on the back, uh, whatever you need. Again, I recommend this setup because that way you're not going to have the UI from those specific applications. So it just looks way cleaner. It looks like a good presentation and for an event or exhibit, this is just gonna take it to the next level. My name is Mexicano. If you have any questions, send me a DM on socials or leave it down in the comments below.